Hi everyone, it's Professor Tex and I'm going to teach you today how to identify animals in the Gorongosa Wildcam website. So once you've logged on and created an account, you'll see your first picture. And this is my first picture. I've got two animals here, rather large ones, maybe three. There might be another one in the background. And there are some categories up at the top that will help you narrow down what that animal is because you might not recognize it. So the like category gives you some sort of different categories of animals. Um, you can identify the animal by pattern, by color, by the type of horns that they have, by their tail, or by their build. And that will help, help you narrow it down. So these animals look something like um, a deer-like thing. So I'm gonna click on the deer one, or antelope or deer. And the little picture looks kind of like this. Hmm. It doesn't really look like that one, but if you click on these dots, you can see some other pictures. And it does look a lot like that one. Let's see the other one. Oh yeah, definitely it looks a lot like that one, but I think we've got females here instead of a male because I don't see any horns. You can look at the field guide if you want some more information about your animal. And that will bring up a new website that will give you um, just some interesting information about the animal that you're looking at. Once you're pretty sure you've identified it, you click on how many. So I see one, two, maybe three in the background. You can change your answer if you decide it's a different number. Um, and then below it, you can write down what behaviors you see. What are they doing? Um, it looks like the one in the background is eating. And then these ones in the front are either standing or moving. I'm gonna pick moving. And I don't see any young present and I don't see any horns. So these are probably female. And then I'm gonna click identify. And once you're sure and you're done, you can go on to the next image. So these images are looked at by um, several people. So you don't need to worry if your answer is wrong, um, they will figure it out. So this next one looks like some kind of monkey or primate. And looking at the pictures, I think it might be a baboon. And look at some of the other pictures and see if especially the tail matches pretty well. So I think there are two of them in the foreground here and it looks like one of them is sort of resting and the other one is moving and there's no young here. So I'm identifying that. And that's it. You're going to do this for about 10 minutes just to get familiar with how these data are collected, and then you're going to design your own question to answer.